Hello everybody, my name is Alejandro de la Paz and today is my fourth video and it's going to be about marketing tactics. Now you may, may be wondering, Alex, what the heck, what are marketing tactics? Well, I'm going to tell you, I have the definition written down right here. Marketing tactics are strategic actions that direct the promotion of a product or service. In simpler words, um, it's basically like what causes you to buy the product. So like, if you think of candy for example. You see the bright colors on the candy and the intriguing flavor. You're instantly like, oh, okay, perfect, I want that, it tastes like this. Or, oh, perfect, it's really bright, looks good, I'm going to try it. Now, candy is not the only type of product that uses these marketing tactics. Now, let's take Jewel for example. Have you ever seen a Jewel pod? The colors are bright, the flavors are like mango, cucumber. They're crazy, like these products look like they're exactly for us the youth. It's kind of crazy because mango is actually my favorite fruit. So like, if you think about it, these companies make these flavors because they want us to try and try it so that we can become addicted to the nicotine product inside of it. And if you really think about it, these companies are very, very smart with what they do because they attack us to use so that we can become addicted at a young age so that whenever we get older, we be stay addicted to this product. Big Tobacco actually spends $26 million every day on marketing. So basically they're spending a million dollars an hour on trying to sell their product. I don't know about you, but I would use that money for some really good purposes. I would buy you a house. Not only does Big Tobacco pay to make advertisements, they also get free advertisements by us. Uh, people that use tobacco products, they post videos and pictures of them using it and they'll hashtag it like hashtag jewel, hashtag smoking, whatever. And it'll basically draw other people that see that post to try and do it. For example, let me show you. We're going to look up a simple hashtag. Start by looking up hashtag jewel. As you can see on this Instagram account, they're trying to give away a glove. And at the same time, they also have this jewel stuck to the glove. So it kind of makes it seem like that they're going to be giving away the jewel at the same time. As you saw, the Instagram account was trying to show off a glove, but instead they were also showing off a jewel, which is free marketing for that company. People will see it and be like, wait, I wanted the jewel. You know what? Let me see if this account sells them. If the account doesn't sell jewels, then they'll just go to the website and buy it. It kind of is like drawing their attention to where they're like, okay, well, now I really want one. Jewel has also held many other different events just to spread their products, such as parties. They bought, Whenever they first came out with Jewel, they held a party and invited a lot of people and everybody that showed up. They basically gave a Jewel to them for them to use, and that kind of got them instantly attached to that product. And also, they had festivals where they um, marketed their own product on the walls, on billboards, and a festival brings in a lot of people. So imagine how many people saw it, the products, and was like, hey... I'm going to try that. Now that you know about Big Tobacco's type of marketing, try and see past it. Um, I know that these products might seem tempting. You might want to try and use these eventually. But um, at the end of the day, all that matters is your health. All that matters is um, you. So see past it. 2020 Vision. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, that's the end of my video. Hope you guys learned something new. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um, hope you, ha you guys have an amazing day. And peace out.